Now, last week on Blind Day, Jonathan from Eastbourne chose Kelly from Essex. And here's the moment that they met for the very first time. Come on in, Kelly. All back, lads. <laughs> well, welcome back. It's nice to see you both. Nice to see you too. Yeah? Now, we sent you off to somewhere very classy, the Cotswolds. Now, did you enjoy it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, was it splendour in the grass or was it romance in the bypass? Let's have a look, shall we? Let's take a look. So when we were told we were going to Cotswold, I initially thought we were actually going up to Lake District, but uh, little did I know, I was quite far off. Hi. Uh, how you doing? Good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. I was quite nervous coming into the day. I didn't know what to expect. I think we're paddleboarding, so how's your balance? Not good. When I found out that we was paddleboarding, I was absolutely dreading it. I've never done anything like that before, especially on a first date. I've done a lifeguarding course once, so if anything happens, I'll bay watch it. So. Right, great. <laughs> yeah. I was very confident within myself on how much I can balance on a board. John had a massive head to begin with, said his balance is really good. But the reality is that I was quite good on the old board and really he nearly drowned about 15 times. I'd like to say that the banter and the attraction between us was probably the reason that I fell in the water so much. How are you still on? <laughs> I did a headstand thinking I may be all right here and I absolutely smashed it. When Kelly pulled out the headstand, I thought I needed to try my best at least to uh, do a headstand and I, I think I did myself proud. He's terrible, and I'm just really happy that I outdone him on that. <laughs> Is it the moment? We dried off, we had a nice little walk, a chat. I think we realised that we're both sort of on the same wavelength. So, what can you do for work? I help manage three emergency dental clinics. Are oh, my gnashes good enough? Or... Maybe. Might need to talk about a change in toothpaste, though. <laughs> <laughs> the sort of vibe from Kelly was that she's very similar to me. We both don't take life very seriously. <laughs> I will get you back for that. <laughs> when we showed up to the picnic, it was really nice. It was a cute setting, and I think it just was a good vibe to get to know each other. <laughs> 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 Cheers. Cheers. You've been so rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, with, with Kelly Bribbing me, that is one of the things that actually has attracted me more to her. I haven't been into the gym probably about three, four weeks, so... It's uh... showing. <laughs> <laughs> I've been absolutely shredding him to pieces, but I feel like that's in my nature. I think you have got a good personality. I think we've got the same banter. Are you I've... trying to call me not good looking? Uh, week two. <laughs> what? <laughs> I want someone to keep me on my toes, and she wasn't afraid. I'm roasting you too much, aren't I? But it's something that I look for, though. Like, you have to be comfortable doing this with your partner. I'm, I'm not... Partner? So... <laughs> I just acted literally as myself, and so did he, and I think that's why it worked so well. I look like a boy when I wake up without makeup. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure I'll find that out soon. Just, just Ooh, face it away. <laughs> this day, we both had a great time, in my opinion. If I sort of maybe an inkling of like someone, then, yeah, I do go pretty harsh, but hopefully he realises that. <laughs> I 100% I guarantee that my mum would like you. That's nice. Probably more than she likes you, to be fair. I, I think that's not hard. <laughs> She's ripped me. She stood by it. I think I might need therapy after this. Perfect first date. <laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> well, you two got on like a house on fire, didn't you, there? I mean, you really did. Despite you having a mouth like a bee's backside. <laughs> <laughs> stinging remarks, I mean, by that. You only saw half of them. Uh, really? You only saw half of them. There was so much more than that. <laughs> you were beaten down, Jonathan. Well, yeah. But... You didn't know where the Cotswolds were? Well, I, I don't know why. I've been to Lake District 4 and I just thought they were there. <laughs> Can you, can you tell I didn't do geography, yeah, so... Uh, never take up a career as a coach driver, <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Kelly, you said you were nervous prior to the day. You don't strike me as a nervous person um, at all. I think it's just cos it was a blind day. I didn't know what I was expecting. Yeah. I, have you been paddleboarding before? No. no um, that was blatantly obvious. Could, could you tell? <laughs> <laughs> But you acted, you say, I thought, oh, he's done this before, cos you were acting so confident, you know, and you thought, oh, well, I'll that's get a, on That's this. just me as a person. I always like to think that I'm the best at everything, and uh, ultimately I got put in my place. <laughs> yeah. you, you had the balance of a baby elephant, I thought, watching <laughs> you on that. 
And you've never done it before, <laughs> had you? No. But like, you're completely... I mean, you were brilliant. I know. I'm quite happy about it, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and how the hell did you stand on your head on that, one of those boards? <laughs> it just came out of nowhere and I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> your flirting technique is fascinating because, basically, you rip men to shreds. <laughs> Works, You're like right? Medusa. <laughs> you lay into them. You know what I mean. So it's going to take a strong man, isn't it? Who's very confident in himself. You know, yeah. not not to like cow down underneath all yeah. that. And you um... handle it well, Jonathan. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's just something that's happened all my life. Everyone just ripped me, so, you know, <laughs> just get a thick skin. Could you tell there was a connection going on between you two uh, as the date progressed? Well, yeah, it, we just had the same banter, and although it looked like she was just ripping me, that's just sort of <laughs> the, the banter that I have. Uh, if someone's not afraid to go and just do that straight away, it's something that's, like, like tick a box yeah. straight away sort of thing. You can't be afraid just to say what you think. Yeah. Well, she wasn't, but <laughs> she... <that's laughs> You say you're both very similar people. Where's yeah. the similarity, then? I think we both ta don't take life too seriously. We yeah. just like to laugh. So, as That's you can see from our date, we just, yeah, mucking about the whole time. Yeah. And what qualities did you like about Jonathan? Um... Apart from his dashing good looks. <laughs> <laughs> His confidence in paddleboarding. <laughs> <laughs> and what boxes does Kelly tick for you? I, I don't take life very seriously. I never have. I don't see the point in... You two are a perfect match, then. <laughs> you, aren't you, though? Yeah? Well, I, we're, she's all right, I suppose. Uh, uh, <laughs> you said a very freaky word during the picnic that would scare anyone off after ten minutes. You uh, said partner. Partner, yeah. How did you feel about that? Get Trapped. out. Trapped. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, taxi! <laughs> <laughs> I've been told that you two have swapped numbers. <laughs> You could say that. We've, um... yeah, and you also stayed a lot longer together after filming. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> the truth will out, folks. The truth will out. Well, the, uh, the truth was we ended up coming back to central London after, after our day and we thought, why, not, why, why stop there? So we went on a pub crawl around London. Um, probably about six hours later, we realised we'd missed our last train. <laughs> Uh, by quite a long shot. Yeah. Uh, so what uh, happened? Did I you... ended up booking a hotel room for us for the night. Oh, right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Two singles was this. <laughs> 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 Are you going to see each other again? Yeah. Yeah, we've got some things in the pipeline. We've got a festival that we both like the bands and everything, so... Oh. I personally am going for the bands and she just <laughs> wants to go, so... She's going to wind you up. That's what it Constantly, is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What a smashing couple, eh, these two, with a happy ending as well. Listen, thanks for coming on the show and thanks for being such good sports on the date. Ladies and gentlemen, please, will you give it up for Jonathan and Kelly? Come on, let's hear you. Oh, I'm made up. <laughs>